Do you have old family videos to digitize? The do-it-yourself Elgato video capture device may be just the ticket. I'm Linda Sadgas from FamilyHistoryHero.com and I've asked my husband Charlie to give you an in-depth review and demo of how the Elgato device works. We recently sent an old VHS tape we had of some family memories off to Scan Cafe to see how they would do converting it into an MP4 digital video. When they were finished, we compared Scan Cafe's conversion of our VHS tape with an MP4 conversion we did ourselves using recently purchased Elgato video capture device and software. And the Scan Cafe conversion was pretty well done. But to our surprise, the video we captured ourselves using the Elgato device was the closest to the original VHS, had better detail than Scan Cafe's conversion, and was about half the file size of Scan Cafe's. The best news of all is that the Elgato video capture device is drop dead simple to use. Let me show you how it works. First, you'll need to download the video capture software for either Mac or Windows from the Elgato website. It installs just like any other software package for your operating system. The software is free, but it will immediately ask you to attach the Elgato video capture device to your computer, and it won't run without it. In order to capture your own videos, you'll need some way to play them. I already had a good quality VCR, so I can easily convert my old VHS tapes, but I don't have players anymore for the other old video formats we had, like Video 8, Digital 8mm, and Mini DV. So I just outsource the conversion of those. But if you already have a player for any of those other old video formats, the Elgato video capture device will work exactly the same way for converting those to digital video. To begin the process, connect the Elgato device to your VCR, video camera, or other video player with the included cables. The connectors are color-coded. VCRs and many other types of video decks have standard RCA style connectors like the yellow, red, and white connectors pictured here. The red and white connectors are for the left and right sound channels. The yellow connector is the video feed and is called composite video because the entire video signal is sent through just this one pair of wires. Some video decks also have a video output jack that's called S-Video, which you see here to the left of the colored RCA connectors. S-Video breaks the video signal down into more components and sends it over more wires bundled into a single cable. Because S-Video sends more detailed information to your television, or in this case, to the Elgato device, S-Video produces better picture quality than the yellow composite connector does. The Elgato video capture device looks like this and comes with the pictured black connector cable included in the box. The included cable has the three colored RCA connectors, but Elgato does not include an S-Video cable in the box. So if you have an S-Video out on your VCR, you'll need to provide your own S-Video cable. One end of the Elgato video capture device has both RCA and S-Video connectors for hooking it up to your VCR or other video player. On the other end, it has a USB connector for you to plug into your computer. The included black cable plugs into your video player on one end and the Elgato device on the other. My VCR has an S-Video output, so that's what I used. If your VCR or other video player doesn't have an S-Video out connection, or you don't have an S-Video cable lying around, no worries. Just use the yellow composite connector on the included Elgato cable and you'll be fine. When you fire up the Elgato application, it will ask you to connect the Elgato device if you haven't already. Then it asks for a title. I'll just leave this My Great Movie, and I'm going to make this a lot shorter. It's going to be about 10 minutes, I'll say, and it will estimate that it's going to take 121 megabytes of hard disk space. And I'll click Continue. Now it's going to ask me for where my inputs are. I've got S-Video chosen. My aspect ratio is 4 to 3, which is what most VHS tapes are, instead of 16 by 9. And I'll click Continue. 
It also asks me to connect audio using an RCA cable. And it says when you hear sound, click continue. So I'll go ahead and press play. And it's detecting the sound, so I'll go ahead and stop that again and click continue. I can automatically stop after 10 minutes if I want to, or I can mute the sound, but I'm going to leave those the way they are. And as soon as I'm ready, I'll go ahead and back this up again. And stop. I'll hit play, and as soon as I see actual video, then I can hit start recording. This video is a little over two hours long, but this is just for a demo, so I'll go ahead and click stop recording. I can stop my VCR. And it gives me the opportunity to trim my video if I want to, but I won't do that right now. I'll just press continue. Then I can choose play with QuickTime Player, add to iTunes, or upload to YouTube. If I choose play with QuickTime Player, which is what I'm going to do, it will convert the video into an MP4. And when I'm finished, I can hit quit. So that's all there is to it. The folks at Elgato make this absolutely simple to capture a video, and the quality comes out just as well as it did on the original VHS. So there you have it. I'm highly impressed with Elgato Video Capture, and give it a solid five stars. If you have very many videotapes to convert, the small investment in the device will easily pay for itself, and I think you'll be really pleased with the quality of the finished video Elgato delivers. Thanks for the great demo, Charlie. If you're watching and you aren't a member of our channel, I invite you to click the button to subscribe and click the bell to be notified when I post another video. I'm Linda Satgas with FamilyHistoryHero.com where we show you how to turn your dusty old boxes of photos and videos into easy to share family stories.